Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Akuma MC Skyblock and we are going to just be increasing our money income. So we're just going to be doing these like improving our farms and everything like that. So stay tuned to the very end. So to start things off, I do want to go ahead and take a look at our current mob farm. Currently we have some mobs just dropping in lava like this. It's pretty simple. And then they go into this auto cell chest right here from this chunk hopper and we can definitely improve the auto cell chest because there is a legendary version and okay i don't know why there's 20 carry keys in there let's go ahead and claim those but yeah we currently have some good spawners right now we could definitely have some more we have a stack of iron golems and we actually have a few more because i think you can only stack them in stacks of 64 but there probably is an ice upgrade that i just haven't looked at yet but yeah this is basically it right now it currently has three mil in it or no 7k because i just sold it technically because whenever you open it that's how you actually sell it yeah this is basically making a bit of money if we just afk it and we do have this mining robot i do want to go ahead and try to upgrade the generator in this video it is some pretty simple quest like i'm pretty sure the one is to actually go ahead and mine 200 cobblestone so that's not that hard at all and we did just get 30k from selling the chest so that is not terrible we also have this fully grown wheat and we did get to the potato mastery in the last video so we could definitely go ahead and start making a new form but i think i'm going to save that for a later video just because it does take a long time and that could be a whole separate video on itself we're just probably going to farm this though and just show you like how much it's making me and stuff like that to so go ahead and improve our mob farm if we go ahead and take a look in the slash shop if we go into the gem section we currently have around 45k gems and we just get that from farming grinding mining things like that that just gives you a ton of gems and i'm pretty sure farming is probably going to be the best way just because we can expand our farm rapidly and the scroll of magic i'm pretty sure gives you more drops unless that is the loot but we're just going to be buying mostly all of these except for the fire i think because the fire can be decent but we just have them going already there so i don't really see a point let's go ahead and buy some of these scroll of magics so i just double checked and the scroll of magic actually increases the amount of mobs that are going to spawn and then these new scroll just increases the amount of loot you get so honestly both are going to be pretty good so i'm thinking i'm going to buy two of each just so we can put two of them on the best spawners we currently have so if we take a look in the slash shop let's see what the best spawners we have are i don't think we okay i think we have villagers and let's go ahead and put them on villagers and the iron golems so i don't think we have too many villagers eight which is not terrible so let's just go ahead we already have a fire scroll on that so that's not bad right there and then the 64 let's go ahead and put scrolls on that so that is honestly really good and that's gonna, that's gonna help us with like loot and stuff like that but i just notice slash scrolls i think you can you can like i don't know what this means increasing scrolls um let me go ahead and take one from the spawner and check that out if you do slash scrolls and then go ahead and upgrade if we put it in you can okay so level one's the max for fire let's go into the scroll of magic slash scrolls and let's see what if we can upgrade this okay to upgrade it costs 15k gems and probably just increases what it does so if we increase that it will probably just help more mobs spawn which but it's not bad but currently with the amount of gems we have we can't really afford that so we're just gonna try to get some scrolls for every spawner and then we can eventually start leveling them up but i'm gonna go ahead and farm the wheat it should give me a pretty decent amount of gems and money and stuff like that i'll come back and i'll just tell you how much stuff i got so i'll do that and i do want to go ahead and open up some crates after so i'll be back then well farming i did notice i'm pretty sure our is actually increased in size because this was usually at the border but now we do have a little bit more space so we can actually go ahead and expand the farm a little bit that way if we really do want i don't think i'm gonna do that in this video but i definitely could actually but yeah we're just gonna save that for now uh it's honestly gonna be very very helpful for some future farms and stuff like that and let me go ahead and check my other ice perks i just want to go ahead and see if anything i missed so for the ice size yes it does look like it increased and the next one is to reach an ice value of one mil which we're going to do over time crop growth speed we need to unlock three crop masteries which is going to take a little bit just because we have to farm it all and then okay the cobble generator perks is what i was talking about earlier we need to mine 200 blocks from the cobble gen which is not that hard at all and all this other stuff doesn't seem that good maybe hopper limit just for actually no we don't even need hopper limit so yeah we're just gonna be focusing on the crops ice perks mainly okay so i'm done farming it all and in total we probably got around 80k each inventory sells for around 40k so we had gotten two inventories of it so yeah that's around 80k and we did get around 5k gems which is not bad at all and we did also get 64 adamant spawners which i was kind of surprised but i did realize if we go into these slash skills in the ultimate skills this is basically you just level it up by increasing all your skills in total we did get to level four which gives us 64 adamant spawners and these are really really good as you can see there's like crate keys if you go to the very end you get like some some pretty good stuff honestly but now i'm gonna go ahead and place down these enemy spawners you might have to make a whole new stack because i think there is a limit so let's go place those down and yes we do need to go ahead and make a new stack and enemies are like probably they're a pretty decent one actually uh i'll go i'll go check that later after i place all these um let's 
part right there is good. Probably try. I'm trying to space them out like two blocks per, just so they, they don't get confused. I'm just gonna. I just try to place them like two blocks apart. If you go check this shop and these spawners, Endermen are like right here. Cost one mil per, so they're not terrible, but they are pretty decent. And all these spawners are just gonna help me get a ton of more money in this auto sell chest. And yes, yeah, it's gonna be very very helpful in the long run for getting money. But now I want to go ahead and open up some crates. So if we go into the slash crates, we um. Okay, we don't have that much, honestly, but let's just go ahead and open up the ones that we do have. Uh, we got some value tickets. We're definitely going to take value tickets. I think there is a seat, like a method that people are actually using to get a whole bunch of the um value tickets. And I'll probably go over that either probably in the next video because it is a pretty in-depth method that I probably have to go over. It basically has to do with some enchants and some stuff like that and some skills. So, yeah, because in these slash skills, if you go ahead and take a look at that. Like, let's just go into farming, for example. Um, I, I don't actually know. Oh, no, there's a, yeah. So, basically, like, if you farm, there's an enchant that can give you value tickets. And that's basically how a lot of people are getting the value tickets. So, yeah, we have to go over that in another video. But I'm going to go ahead and mine some of this cobblestone. Just because I do want to go ahead and get the generator upgrade. Because the current uh, mining robot is not making a ton of money. And I feel like if I do get the upgrade a little bit, it's going to make a little bit more money. So, I'm going to go ahead and grind this. Just so it's going to spawn some better ores. And I'm going to see the next quest after I do mine the 200 blocks all right so i did get the level up but the next quest is to mine 300 blocks and we're about at 150 out of 300 so we're just gonna go ahead and do this one too uh, it's pretty some pretty simple quest honestly okay so i did also get the next ice perk and it just keeps continuing like it gets 100 more blocks every time so i think we're gonna stop there i mean we're gonna definitely could do some more off the video but yeah so that's gonna pretty help us a little bit i've got some dim some diamonds and stuff and just gonna help us get a little bit more money from the robot actually so we're gonna take that all the crops are growing but i think honestly that might be it for today's video we got some pretty good stuff done got some new scrolls for this to help us get some more money from the thing it's already at around 800k which is pretty close to a mil but yeah i'm gonna wrap things up there if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in this one peace out